Well, this time of year is always a busy one, and adding, of course, the pressure of family just makes things more difficult. So what is the best way to deal with those family members? Well, today, an expert in mental toughness and emotional intelligence will help us answer that question. We are welcoming back to the show a former U.S. Marine, Eric Rittmeyer. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for Yay. having me. Great to be back. <laughs> We're so always so happy to see you uh, and talk with you, um, and we always learn something. Uh, that's for sure. <laughs> But so, so, all right, so what are a few things mentally tough people do to maintain their sanity during the holidays? They yeah. don't allow themselves to go crazy when somebody says something <laughs> that upsets them. Okay. And we're horrible at this. You know, somebody says something to us and we go crazy. Yeah. We just can't control the emotion. So when we go into these situations where we have family, who sometimes come at us, you know, we got those family members, the cousin <laughs> Eddie's, you know what I mean? The cousin Eddie's roll up with the RV, it's like, here he comes. They don't, the funny thing about someone like him is they don't do it on purpose normally. Mm -hmm. And that's the biggest bit of advice I give to everybody. If somebody's doing something you don't like, go to the intention of it. Are they really trying to do something to upset you or are they just totally oblivious? Normally mm. they're oblivious. You're okay. so right. That yeah. really, think about it. I Some mean, people just think that way. Yes. And they don't realize You have it. to consider the source, because a lot of times the source um, doesn't even know that they're, you know, I mean, they're, again, they're just, they have no clue. They're just like, it's the cousin Eddie's. That's the perfect way to put it. He's totally <laughs> harmless, but look how much he offends everybody. You know what I mean? Right. Totally harmless, though. <laughs> now, obviously, there's a lot of family events happening over the holidays, so things could potentially get heated. What are ways that you should just uh, tell people stay calm? Alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, it's that actually the exact never, opposite. Yes, I, I was just going to say, that cannot be you true. You sprinkle the alcohol on top, you get the loose lips. Yeah, it's bad. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's not a good thing. It's, no. it's, it's learning your triggers and understanding what's going to get you fired up. You have to go into these situations and know, okay, this person's going to be there. This is what they're probably going to bring up. I have to prepare myself mentally for it. In the world of mental toughness, we call it systematic desensitization. Oh. I have no idea how to spell it. Don't have Amy's looking at me, she's like, spell it. We're going to spell it. No. Systematic. <laughs> I'd never ask you to do you know, that. Good, I can't. <laughs> Desensitization. So you desensitize your brain. So if you if you know there's somebody there, politics come up a lot this time of year mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Run it through your mind. Run it through your mind. So when it comes up, you don't just go off and go berserko. Have something in the back of your mind. If this happens, this is what I'm going to do. And sometimes you have to take yourself out of the situation. I have to use the restroom. I'll be back in an hour. Right. Sometimes you have mm -hmm. to do that. To have those tools, though, already and be thinking about it and planning ahead really makes the difference. Preparation. Though. Preparation. Just like with food, Amy, I like <laughs> to eat a lot. See? <laughs> I'm, I'm rolling seven pounds deep right now from two days well, ago. I'm about seven. Yeah, six <laughs> and a half, you. seven. You know, it, it's this time of year. Our bodies are just trying to be warm, mm -hmm. right? They are trying to be warm. Yeah. yeah. I'm hibernating. And I, I have no hair. Blanket. So I, I need down here. You need a little bit extra. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so are these tips that you, you, you can find in your book? Because I know you have an excellent book out, The Emotion. Marine. Thank you very much. Yes, yeah. and that book was just written about getting people to like you, and it just so happens so many of these traits are applicable. And it's not just the holidays. Right. This is every day of the year. We're going to deal with people that upset us, that fire us up at work, people we meet places. Just give them the benefit of the doubt and just love each other. That's the other thing. That's my new Aww. message for next year. There's so much fabricated hate right now. Everybody's so mm -hmm. angry for no reason. Just love each other. Kuna Matata. I love how positive you are. Real quickly, <laughs> we, though. Honestly, we love when he comes in here because everyone's always like, oh, it's 9 o'clock. So I know. Tired. We were just saying that. He's so tired. And then he now comes I'm kind of really happy like, and you've totally yeah. switched my mood around. But yeah. real that. quickly, yes. tell everyone where they can go to get more information and your book. Absolutely. My book is on my website, Mental Toughness Speaker. It's also on Amazon and hopefully in Barnes & Noble soon. We'll see. Ooh, Ooh exciting. We'll see. I'm trying. Very cool. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you for stopping by once Thanks again. Thanks for seeing me, guys. Thank Hope you so to see you soon. Yes. Uh, we're going to have all that information for you guys on our website, fox43.com. And we'll be back with more Fox 43 Morning News coming up right after this.